6,000. Now he, he wants you to fly on 29.92. So does that mean you would switch it, switch it? Switch it, and if you're not at 6,000, you go to 6,000. Yeah. Okay? Make sense? All right. High airspace is above 18, is 18,000 and above. Low airspace, low level airspace is 18,000 and below, right? So technically, 18,000 is already high level. The minute you go above, sorry, one feet below that, it will be low level. Okay, and if you want, you can take a picture to help you out a little bit, but this is what they mean by the dimensions, okay? So you have over here your southern domestic airspace that starts at 18,000, I think above 18,000, you go to the control area, all right? If you are flying in the northern domestic airspace, all right, you will have some sort of an uncontrolled area here until you climb higher. Make sense? Good. Okay, so does that mean that in like if you're certain could you go back to the room for a sec? So if you're in the southern one, it's not going to be controlled below 18,000. Is that what I mean? So what? Where? Like, yeah, I don't know the chart. Here? Is. Yeah, no, yeah, it's the chart. Well, here is going to be low level, yeah. basically. We're just talking about high level. Yeah. So if you're flying in the northern area of Canada, right, let's say it's 19,000, flight level 190, sorry, all right, then you might be in an uncontrolled. Is this just for Canada or is this just Canada? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then you can see here, this is kind of like the US border. This is the Southern Canada. And then this is the North Pole, uh, Northern Canada. Okay. Airspace can be defined as either controlled or uncontrolled. All right. A sure you can write that down a little bit. How even the sky are called airways or air routes and they are fixed RNAV routes. All right. Take note that RNAV is basically GPS. Okay, you do not need to write the to take note of the picture. This is not important for you guys. They're not going to ask you about it. Do not worry about it. And airways are being controlled. Air routes is not controlled. But do take note on that one. Easy way for me to remember is that airway is one word, so it's together, so therefore it's control. And air route is two words because they are not connecting, nobody is controlling them, kind of thing. Got it? All right. Don't need to write that down. This is just for 
just to tell you how many controlled air spaces we have. So we have the control zone, we have terminal control, we have control area extension, and all of that is technically depicted in this picture over here, right? You can find this picture online, right? Yeah. So that's just a popular picture online to kind of like explain. When you get our flying, right, just to kind of like help you a little bit with that, you do have above here the terminal control area. So that's for high level airplanes. As you guys are flying, all right, the way they the way they did that, all right, as you guys are flying and getting closer to the airport over here, you're going lower and lower and lower. So they will transition you, right? They will move over and put you in a transition area, still controlled, but that uh, transition area will help you avoid the low level airplanes like us, okay? And then as you get even closer to the airport, you will just be, uh, they'll switch you to the control tower, to the control tower, okay? So that's how you do it, right? So you start, same thing when you're taking off, right? You're taking off, the tower will tell you to eventually, if you're climbing higher, to talk to the transition guide. After you talk to the transition guide, you'll talk to the terminal control area and search. Okay? So they made it look like as if you're taking off and landing. All right? Control and uncontrolled can be restricted, advisory, military, and all that. No need to write it down. This is in your map. If you have your map, it's on there, all right, on the legend, okay? CYA means advisory, all right? You have CYD, which would be danger over here if this was D, and R is restricted. We cannot enter restricted airspace, right? Whenever you see CY and the letter here, it's always gonna be class F, special use, okay? When we're going to the practice area to practice our stuff, it's a class F. But for us, it's gonna be just advisory. Dimensions, vertical limits, everything can be found in the designated airspace handbook. No need to write that down. Handbook is free online to get if you really guys, if you guys really, really want. And you guys are not gonna need to ever look at that. I never opened it myself. All right, so do write that down. Canadian domestic airspace has a northern and southern domestic airspace. All right, so Canada is divided into two. Yeah, just give me a quick second. I think they're having an issue here with the door. I'll take you about that. Hello? <laughs> 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 
क्लास रेकर्ड कर